There's a famous phrase that clothes make the man, but today we're looking at how one woman's fashion is speaking volumes. First Lady Melania Trump's style psychology is coming under the microscope. And here with all the details is psychiatrist Dr. Sue Varma and Daily Mail's style director Pandora Amaratus. So ladies, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. So when it comes to First Lady fashion, there's a belief that her choices reveal a lot more than just good taste, but also her emotions. So Sue, we'll start with you. How so? You know, public speaking for most of us is our biggest fear. In fact, we are more afraid of it than we are of death. So what are you going to do if you're an introvert, you don't necessarily want to be in the public eye? Well, you're going to fall back on what you know best. And in this case, for Melania Trump, it's fashion. And there's an emerging area of interest in fashion psychology. So instead of necessarily looking at a person's facial expression or body language, is looking at their fashion sense. And what are they putting out there? What are they trying to communicate? Because this is going to tell us a lot about her sort of feelings and thoughts and behaviors that we can't otherwise ascertain. Okay, well, as we know, fashion is obviously in Milana's wheelhouse, just like it is for yours, Pandora. <laughs> so what first fashion statement are you calling out here? You know, we have to talk about her coats. I mean, from the very beginning, when she stepped out at the inauguration in this Ralph Lauren set uh, with matching gloves, matching shoes, she really made a big statement. She looked absolutely beautiful. Whether it's conservative or flashy, we are all about her coats. All right, so what do you think that Melania's coats then say about her personality? It's not necessarily the coats, which are fabulous, by the way, but it's the way that they're draped over her shoulders. It screams to me status, wealth, power, and invincibility. And it also allows you to maintain a little bit of distance. So let's say you're standing next to your husband, you don't necessarily want to hold his hand. Well, this is an easy way to do it. And it also says superpower. I'm a bat, you know, Batman cape situation. I don't know if you noticed, Pandora's got the coat ripped <laughs> over her shoulder. Uh, yeah. this aura and you know of what? It's not that her. easy. It's not that easy to give the hand. So a lot of people are saying that's the reason why. Who knows? Well, Pandora, she also gets a lot of attention for her accessories. What stands out to you? Her shoes. Jesse, it doesn't matter where she's going, what she's walking through, how long she's standing. She is in super high stilettos. She favors high-end designers like Louis Vuittons, Dolce & Gabbana's, but definitely her most noted shoe are these Manola Blahniks. They were black snakeskin. She wore them to Texas uh, right after Hurricane Harvey. A lot of people were saying this was a footwear faux pas, but you know what? You can't blame a woman. She likes her shoes. A lot of people thought maybe that was inappropriate, maybe not the right time for that. What do you think, Sue? What are those stilettos? Very expensive. What does yes. that say about Melania? Yes. So a lot of women will tell you that shoes are the way, especially high heels, to feel powerful, right? So the average woman might be 5'5", height-wise, the average man is 5'9", and Melania Trump at 5'11 is towering over most of us on a regular day in flats. You add in the heels, and it's like an anti-Napoleon complex. It says, I'm here. You may not hear a lot from me, but I will definitely not go unrecognized. Okay, ladies, I have to ask you, what do you think of Melania's white hat? It just <laughs> seems to generate so much buzz around this country. Oh, my God. So many people are talking about this hat. I loved it. I don't know. It's by uh, Hervé Pierre. You know, it had her standing out. She stood out against the gray day. Uh, people are making memes about it, comparing her to Beyonce in the uh, formation video. They're also saying, would you, Olivia pulled from Scandal? I thought it was chic. I thought she looked great. Sue, so what do you think? Coat, invincibility, what does the hat say? <laughs> well, the hats and the big dark glasses, especially when you're wearing them at night, it kind of also says, I'm not really ready for this level of emotional contact. It's a way of keeping distance. So when we see her visiting the um, Las Vegas victims or Puerto Rico hurricane victims, it's too emotionally charged. So it's, it's a way of emotional intimacy avoidance a little bit. It, but I do love big glasses and a big hat. Okay, well, her choice of color also regularly turns, turns heads. So, Sue, what message is she sending about herself when she wears all white? So, white is very much a pro woman color. It's also pro suffragette. It's a color that Hillary Clinton had worn during her campaign trail. It's very pro democratic, but it's also a way of sort of separating herself. Look, there were some photo shoots that some people say were not so first lady like, and it's a way of saying purity. I want to be conservative, I want to be taken seriously and I want to be separated from my past, whatever you think about me. Okay, Sue, so when you put it all together, you take a look at Melania's fashion choices, what stands out to you? What do you make of all of them? Well, you know, I think to myself that a woman wants to be sexy and feminine and beautiful regardless of which decade of life she's in. And Melania is really trying to fuse this previous identity of sexiness and regardless of a woman, no matter how revealing you're dressed are or no matter how conservative you are, um, we want to be respected and we want to be taken seriously. And well, I think she's really trying to do that. Yeah, listen, Melania is a woman Woman wearing a lot of different hats, both figuratively and literally, <laughs> including a giant white one. But she wears it very, very well. Thank you both so much for sharing your insight. Thank